right. This is my zero slide. Um, so this is uh, Burning Credit. My name is Jesse Robbins, and I'm going to be giving a quick talk on the BlackRock Federal Credit Union. Um, <clears throat> so. Uh, yeah, excuse me. I wrote this while I was drunk, so I'm going to cover this really quick. Um, <laughs> banks suck, credit unions are, often, are awesome, and $1 equals $16. And I ask that you, you wait and believe me and that I'm not about to steal your kidneys. This is also a common question about when I say $1 equals $16. So this is real. I'm really not going to steal your delicious kidneys. $1 equals $16. There, my talk is pretty much over. Um, so the point is here um, that uh, $1 equals equals $16, and I'm going to go into actually some amount of detail. <clears throat> so um, Econ 101, money exists because the man tells us that it does, and we all agree. We all agree that that dollar is real or is not, and that dollar is not real at all. Um, <clears throat> so. Um, Banks get to loan out more money than they have in the bank. Every dollar that you have in the bank, the banks get to loan out many times that. The FDIC, the Federal Deposit uh, Insurance Corporation, also known as the man, tells them that they can do that and we believe them and therefore they can, make, they can actually loan out more money than they have. They keep the interest from the money that they just loaned you, um, but that money that they loaned you doesn't exist. But banks basically equal the man because essentially they're uh, making money off of nothing. So my solution to this is burn the man. Um, this is uh, the burning man. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, disintermediate the banking industry by applying the burning man community principles and building a federal credit union. Credit unions are awesome. Credit unions are nonprofits. They're member owned and they are community powered. This is all about our, our, our artistic community. So we are going to build a community powered credit union um, that will uh, allow us to burn the man. So credit unions have a 6% capitalization requirement. That means that they can loan out $16 for every dollar. Um, again, you know, because the man says so. However, <clears throat> this next slide is really going to be worth it and I'm saving up for it so everyone just hold on. So this is credit union leverage. That means if we have a million dollars in the bank, we're able to loan out $16 million to our members at a very low rate and I'm going to explain why in just one moment. So see this, this is up and to the right. It's very important. Credit union loan, $16 up and to the right. Look at this big math chart thing. If we we have $100,000 in the bank um, and we loan out $1.6 million at a 7% interest rate, which is a fairly normal interest rate, that means every year we take in $112,000 in, uh, in return, which we get to apply to whatever we want, subsidized uh, loans for artists, low or, or extremely low grants, uh, excuse me, low <coughs> grants for artists, grants for other important programs, and build the BlackRock Federal Credit Union, a member-owned, not-for-profit, cooperative financial institution based on our principles and empowering our community. Um, so, <clears throat> hold on, this next slide is also going to be worth it, I swear. This is what we're going to do. We're going to be able to give away money um, because we're going to be operating less expensively than other credit unions offer, operate. <clears throat> Brick and mortar? Say, we're not going to be necessarily a brick and mortar one. Actually, credit unions can do something called shared branching. Um, essentially, we're going to use a novel approach, but within an existing framework. All of this is supported by the National Credit Union Administration, the man, but actually pretty cool. They really like building communities, and they're very excited about creating new kinds of credit unions. We're going to do it together. We're going to use open space technology, the unconference format plus plus, um, and we're going to write and implement our charter. We might fail. It's a little scary. Uh, if we, you know, if, and if we can't do it as a member group, then you know, we shouldn't build a credit union. We're also going to, uh, to write some open source software. Um, not only are we going to do this for Burning Man community, but I want to be able to make sure that, that other communities that don't have the resources that we have are able to apply it. Um, that means that we could do it for, um, for the Darfur Foundation. If you were passionate about that, you could actually give money to, to his program um, instead of necessarily funding arts and other things. Um, we're going to host the conference in uh, late January and early July. Um, <clears throat> we're not necessarily sure, sorry, January and July, February, pardon me. Um, one or more, <laughs> uh, the BlackRock Federal website. Um, you can also
open source credit union blog. Those guys are awesome. Um, and they are full of passion. They just don't have any technology yet. If you're interested in helping, go to those. We're going to meet next week. Um, and there will be more information about where to meet. Um, my name is Jesse Robbins. There's a lot of people involved with the program. And so I just wanted to say thank you. And uh, I hope to hear from you or see you all soon. Um, and there's my information. Thanks. I want to call it a stop here.